I want to welcome you today as we begin this discussion about what I think might be one of the most innovative ideas that's come along for all education in a long, long time, and I'd like to share that with you today. It comes to us from the TED people, the TED.com, um, and on their website they build their um, selves as ideas were spreading. They uh, publish a lot of different speakers and a lot of different discussions and talks about a number of different uh, innovative and um, life-changing ideas. And so I th thought that um, many of you might already be familiar with them. What you may not be as familiar with is this idea that they have now created an educational piece to, the, to their website that is um, really quite remarkable. On their webpage, you will find a link to TED Ed. And it even says on my page, it says new. So when I click on TED Ed, it takes me to this, um, to the TED Ed site and it builds it as a beta site. So it's still under construction, but um, they've come up with what I think is um, such a simple and easy and uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, free idea for teachers to use. What they've done is they've taken all of their videos and made it possible for teachers to turn them into flipped lessons. And if you're not familiar with the term flipped, it means that uh, the instruction is going to take place um, outside of the classroom. The, the flip meaning that the student will do the direct instruction piece first and then come to class as, um, as a means of a discussion and uh, furthering their education. In our case, in the online world, virtually all of our, all of our lessons are flipped. But this is a great way to push out a direct instruction piece to a student um, if they don't attend a live class, etc. On this page, they have um, the features. They have four videos that have over 1,924 flips made to them. And what they're telling us then is that you can take one of their videos and you can flip it to become a lesson for yourself. You can make it unique to your class. It's absolutely remarkable, and it's so easy to do. They also have um, a topic called series, and this is just topics that are kind of combined together. Um, for instance, inventions that shape history. There are four different videos so far in this category of inventions that shape history. So if you're a teacher and, you're, and one of these topics fits, then uh, you can come here as a source. Probably a more common source would be subject. The third heading over is subject, and, it'll, and it's just broken down by uh, typical school subjects. If I was to select one of those, then it would take me to some, some more videos that, that are categorized as such. Um, I'm just going to select the Introducing TED Ed Lessons we're sharing. And by the way, I would recommend all of you watch this as one of your very first videos. But you can see the setup here. When I click on a TED video, it looks something like this. You can see I just have to push play, and, and this video will play through for me so I can watch the video, which has been watched a number of times, as you can see, 38,000 times for this particular one. And it's been flipped 202 times, so people have made it their own. When I finish watching the video, then it allows me to take a quick quiz. And this quick quiz might be a great way for our teachers to just check to understanding. You just a little check in um, to see how well the students are understanding the material that was presented. One of the interesting things is if I pick, uh, in this case, let's say I pick what, what do you find on the home page of the TED Ed website? Uh, I pick photographs. If I go to check my answer, it tells me that that wasn't it. And I have two solutions as a student. I can try it again and go back, and, or I can find the answer using a video hint. And the video hint will take me right to the video and play that portion for me where the, where the answer is so I can learn that information. Obviously, for our purposes, this is not the higher level understanding piece that we're looking for in an authentic activity. It's more of a just a way to just check in and see how things are going. So we want to make sure that the students have some basic information for us there. Then once you complete the quick quiz, you can go to the think portion. And this is this is the higher level thinking piece. Uh, which feature of the TED Ed website excites you the most? A chance for the student to put in um, their own thoughts and make it authentic. And you can write a better question than this one possibly. Um, and then there's another one. If you could make an improvement to the website, what would it be? And then their third one, which TED Ed or YouTube video will you flip first? 
These aren't real high up on the chart, and there's others in here that are. But as a teacher, this is where you would write those authentic questions that would really help a student. And then there's a category called Dig Deeper, and most of the videos here have a lot of, they have links to other materials, they have other suggestions, other things that you can read. And as a teacher, this is where you might take a student on a web quest or suggest um, other places for them to, to search if they want even more understanding about what's happening. You might direct them back to the, to the online text, you might direct them to another website, you might direct them to a Class Connect session, etc. So the Dig Deeper is perfect for that. Um, what a great tool. In future videos, I hope to be able to show you um, just how we can put this into action, but I want to in introduce the idea to you today and tell you that we can use this for any video that's on TED. We can also use it for any video that's on YouTube or any video that we produce ourselves and publish. So um, very exciting for us. Uh, what a great tool. Can't wait to get started. Hope you're as excited as I am.